Hello friends, this video on life processes part 33 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. However, in case of human beings, we have a very specific excretory system. The way we have a specific circulatory system consisting of some specific organs, the way we have a respiratory system, the way we have a digestive system. Similarly, we have a very specific well-organized excretory system in human beings. So this system consists of a pair of kidneys, which you can see here, they are the two bean shaped structures, a pair of ureters, this tube like structures, which you can see here, they are the ureters, a urinary bladder, which you can see here, this peach colored structure and a urethra. So this small opening is urethra. So these four organs together form the excretory system in human beings. So let us see how does excretion actually take place with the help of these organs. So what are these kidneys? Kidneys are located in the abdomen. As I mentioned, this was the thoracic cavity. So this the end of the thoracic cavity and this is the start of the abdomen. So in the abdominal cavity is located the kidneys. Two kidneys are present, one on either side of the backbone. So the backbone runs somewhere here. So on either side of the backbone, we have one kidney. They are Their shapes are in the form of a bean. There is a notch on the inner concave side of each kidney that is called hilum. What is hilum? This is hilum. So you see there is a notch like structure here on the inner side. So this is known as hilum. So the notch like structure is called hilum. Then we have a pair of ureters. These are slender tubes arising from the hilum of each kidney. So from hilum, these ureters are arising. They are nothing but thin tube-like structures. They open into the urinary bladder. So we have this urinary bladder. It is a pear-shaped structure, vascular reservoir of urine. So this is basically a storage for urine. All the urine gets collected in this urinary bladder. And this opens into the urethra. So what is urethra? Urethra opens to the outside through urethral aperture. So here we have a small hole which is called urethral aperture. So through this urethral aperture, the urethra opens to the external environment. The length of the urethra is longer in males than in females. So this length of the urethra in case of a human male, it is quite longer when compared to the females. In females, it is very short in structure. And that is why the structure of the urethra looks very different in a male than in a female. So this was a short description of the various organs of the excretory system. Now let us see how exactly does excretion happen in human beings. Now wastes are excreted in the form of urine. So the urine which we pass at some frequent intervals of time that is nothing but they are the waste products. So we are actually getting rid of all the wastes inside our body in the form of urine. So urine is produced in the kidneys. So the kidneys are the structures where urine formation take place and then the urine, urine passes through the ureters which are the tube like structures. So the urine produced in kidneys and then the urine moves through the ureters and it reaches the urinary bladder which is the storage for urine. Now the urine gets collected in urinary bladder. When a good amount of urine gets collected, then a pressure is created in the urinary bladder to excrete that urine. So then what happens? Then that urine is passed to the urethra and through the urethral aperture that is excreted out to the environment. Right? So this is how actually excretion take place in human beings. But now the question is, how is this urine produced in kidneys? How actually the urine production takes place? So let us try to understand the production of urine. Main purpose, the main purpose of excretion is to remove wastes like urea and uric acid from the blood. As I said, during the so during the variety of metabolic activities taking place inside the body, a lot of waste products are formed. For example, urea, uric acid, and so on. So such products need to be got get rid of. So we our aim is to remove these kind of materials from the blood. 
So the main filtration occurs in the kidneys. So kidneys are the actual organs where actually we get rid of the waste products. After kidneys, whatever is there, they are just used to pass the urine because the formation of urine is all about getting rid of the waste products. Now, once the urine is formed, after that, ureters will only carry the urine, urinary bladder will only store the urine and urethra will help in the passage of urine. Right? So the main filtration or the filtration of the waste products actually takes place in the kidneys. To, so we need to understand the structure of the kidneys well to understand how urine is produced. Now the basic filtration unit in kidneys are the nephrons. The kidney is made up of a large number of units of nephrons. So each unit of kidney is known as nephron. Now if we understand the structure and the function of each nephron, then we can understand the function of the kidney. So it is very very important that we understand the structure of the nephron. Each kidney has many nephrons packed together as I said just now. So let us look at the structure of a nephron. So this is how a nephron looks like. I'm sure you might be wondering that if nephron is uh, are the units of kidneys, that means it, it looks so complicated. And there are many such nephrons which are present in the, inside the kidneys. I know that sounds weird, but that is how that is the fact. That is how it is. So let us quickly look at the structure of a nephron. A nephron consists of very thin walled blood capillaries which are known as glomerulus. So what are glomerulus? Here you can see these are glomerulus. Inside this structure you have very thin walled blood capillaries. So from where does this blood capillaries arise? These capillaries actually arise from arteries which bring blood containing wastes and excess water from different parts of the blood body. Now since we know that kidneys are the organs where excretion had to take place. So that means all the blood of the body which contains waste products. That means all the bad blood of the body should be brought to the kidney. So who will bring those bloods? The arteries. So now arteries, <coughs> the arteries which bring these blood containing wastes and excess water from different parts of the body, they form very thin blood capillaries known as glomerulus. So you can see these are the arteries, this red blood which is carrying the oxygenated blood. This blood con containing waste products is brought here and they form thin walled blood capillaries known as glomerulus. Each capillary is associated with the cup shaped end of a tube that collects the filtered urine. This is called Bowman's capsule. So if you see here, here you see there is a cup shaped end of a tube. If you look at this orange colored tube, you see the end of this tube is cup shaped. So this is known as Bowman's capsule. So the glomerulus is associated with a Bowman's capsule and this Bowman's capsule is just one end of a tube and if you look at this tube it is a coiled structure and it is a very long tube in fact. So if you see here see it is a coiled structure which moves like this like this and this is again a coiled structure which finally enters into the collecting duct. So what does this collecting duct do? It is going to collect the filtered urine. Now, how is the urine getting, I mean, how is the urine getting produced or how is the blood which is containing waste products is getting filtered? Now, what happens is that the glomerulus is attached to the Bowman's capsule and the other end of the Bowman's capsule is the collecting duct. Now, whenever the blood comes here, so the blood is right now containing the waste products as well. Clear? So now, what we aim to see is now we understand the structure of a nephron. It consists of a very thin capillary like structure arising from the arteries which are bringing the um, bad blood, I mean the blood containing waste products. These small capillaries are called glomerulus and each glomerulus is connected to a cup shaped end of a tube which is called Bowman's capsule and this tube is a coiled structure which ultimately leads to the collecting duct. So the collecting duct collects, collects the filtered urine. So now that we have understood the structure of nephron, let us try to understand the process of urine formation. How exactly the urine is formed? Now substances like glucose, amino acids, salts and good amount of water are selectively reabsorbed as the urine flows along the tubular part of the nephron. So here you see this is the glomerulus, 
this is the bowman's capsule and this bowman's capsule is connected to this tubular part so this is known as the tubular part of the nephron this tube like structure the long tube like structure now as the blood passes through this tube like structure what happens all the good things which are present in the blood that are reabsorbed good things like glucose amino acids salts and good amount of water all these things are selectively reabsorbed as the urine passes through it so now when all the good things are absorbed whatever is left back is the bad thing so whatever is left back is nothing but the urine so finally the liquid which reaches the collecting duct that is nothing but the urine so the amount of absorbed the amount of water that is absorbed depends upon the amount of wastes in the body and the amount of excess water in the body as i said the blood which is coming from these arteries it is the blood which is containing the wastes and it is also containing all excess water in the body right so now the amount of water which will get absorbed while this blood passes through this tubule it will depend upon how much water was excess in the body and it will also depend upon how much waste is there on the body so depending on that the amount of water will get absorbed so now when all the good things get absorbed so by the time it reaches the collecting duct we are left with the urine so this is how urine formation will take place so now once the urine is formed in the collecting duct so now you can imagine that inside the kidney you have many such nephrons now each the collecting duct of each nephron will be producing urine so all this urine collecting to collect it together will be the urine which is formed by the kidney now these urine will then pass to the ureters and from ureters it will reach the urinary bladder so urinary bladder will collect the urine till the pressure increases now when lot of urine gets collected there then the pressure to send the urine outside will increase however the bladder is under the nervous control that means the bladder is connected to our brain so that is why we have a we can control the urge of urination for example somebody wants to urinate but if he is in some meeting or if he is into some urgent work he thinks that okay let me urinate after 10 minutes and he is able to do that that is because the urinary bladder is under the nervous control you will understand more about nervous control when we learn about the nervous system in our next lesson that is control and coordination so for now you just understand that the urine passes from the collecting duct of the nephrons and then it goes through the ureters it reaches the urinary bladder there it gets collected finally when too much of urine gets collected there the pressure increases and when the pressure increases it is finally passed to the outside through the urethral aperture of the urethra so let us have a quick review of the urine formation so here you can see the kidneys so this is the left kidney and this is the right kidney now each of these kidneys will contain many such nephrons each of these nephrons will produce urine from their collecting duct and all such urine will get collected together and they will come down these two ureters the left ureter and the right ureter they will get collected in this urinary bladder when the pressure increases from here it will go out through the urethral aperture of the urethra okay so this was all about the excretory system with this i think we have reached towards the end of this lesson as well so let us quickly look at a question the kidneys in human beings are a part of the system for nutrition respiration excretion or transportation needless to answer that it has to be excretion right so i hope that this lesson on uh, life processes wherein we talked about nutrition respiration uh, transportation and excretion would have helped you in understanding the concepts so please understand things before you memorize anything so see you all in the next lesson thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again